I'm Liz. And hi, I'm Alice. And welcome to Kids, Kids on, on Zoom. Zoom. So, Liz, what's all this about? Well, we're nurses, aren't we? Well, no, I'm not. I think you are, though, in real life. Yeah, no, actually I am. In real life, in my other job, I'm a nurse. I'm a children's nurse, so I work in a hospital. If you come into hospital with, like, tummy ache or you've broken a leg, then I look after you. Oh, OK. I've never broken a leg, but I did break a toe once. You did not. I did too. Do you want to hear the story? Yes. It's actually quite embarrassing, and it involves a hoover. Well, that is an extreme sport. I know. So basically, I was quite young. I was probably like, I don't know, quite young. And mum had asked me to do the hoover around the house. And I was like, okay, I guess, because she was going to give me pocket money. Don't ever do a chore if it's not for pocket money. <laughs> <laughs> Can I anyway, that? carry anyway. on. Um, yeah, so I'm doing the hoover around the house. And you get to the bit where the carpet turns into the wooden floor. And I was hoovering and hoovering. And unfortunately, my foot was on that bit and then the hoover just got caught and just smooshed straight into my toe and oh my goodness, I just remember it now and it hurt so much. And you broke it? I did, I broke it and there was blood everywhere and my toenail, oh, I was... <gasps> and did you go to hospital? No, we didn't. Uh, okay. It wasn't that bad, it was only a toe. Okay, well you've got nine others so you're okay. Yes, but it's okay now, it got better. Because it was healed. Exactly. So we're going to look at that today. That's actually what we're looking at. So uh, should, we, should we stop being nurses? Yeah. And let's talk about healing. Because that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're talking oh, wow. today about healing. But also coupled up with forgiveness. Oh. Now you know this story. Yes, there's a really interesting story in the Old Testament. Um, all about this idea of healing and this idea of forgiveness. Um, and it's just, basically, there's um, a servant girl. I'm going to be her. You're going to be the... I'm going to be the servant girl. Yeah, I'll be the servant girl. Here okay. I'm the servant girl. I'm going to keep telling the story. Okay. So there's a servant girl, and she is... Um, she was in her homeland, and this evil general, um, so a commander of an army called Nahum, came in um, and invaded. And he destroyed her homeland, he destroyed her house, um, and because of this, she then became a servant um, in his household. She wasn't a servant to start with. So Nahum then really unfortunately got poorly and he was diagnosed with something called leprosy. Now I know about leprosy. Mm -hmm. So leprosy is a disease, it's a horrible disease. In Bible times people died of it. Mm -hmm. Nowadays we can treat it with antibiotics, but in those days they didn't have that banana medicine. Oh, banana medicine, love banana medicine. They didn't have any of that then, so they couldn't cure it. So people died of leprosy and actually people were really frightened of leprosy because it was really contagious. So people could catch it really quickly and the worst thing about leprosy was it was it happened to your skin it was a disease of the skin but bits of you actually fell off oh no that's disgusting so leprosy was not a good thing to no. catch and that's what Nahum had but Nahum didn't fall apart and lots of different bits fall off in fact in the bible we read that something completely different happened so going back to the servant girl, she heard that Nahum, who was her big enemy because he destroyed her homeland, she heard that he got leprosy and she knew that God could heal him. But she was only a servant girl, so she couldn't do anything um, to, like, to talk to Nahum himself. So what she did was she told Elisha. Good old Elisha. We like Elisha. We like Elisha because he was a prophet. Indeed. And she went to tell Elisha mm. that Nahum needed to go to this special river to go into it to be healed. Yes, and that river was the River Jordan. And now, if I were going to go somewhere to be healed, the River Jordan would not be it. Because the River Jordan was smelly and dirty and just all around, oh, oh disgusting. But that's exactly what Elisha told um, Nahum that he had to go and bathe in, was the River Jordan to be healed. And what do you think happens next? Nahum said, no, not on your nilly. I'm not getting in that. I wouldn't have got in that either if no. I was Nahum. It doesn't matter if bits of me are falling off. That's disgusting. No. So he goes back to Elisha. He says, now nah, wait, I'm not going in there. And Elisha goes, well, you have to. Otherwise, you're not going to be healed and you will probably die. So Nahum goes, all right. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> so he did. He went in the River Jordan and he came out healed. Healed, just like my broken toe. Ah. Right, I think that's a good place to stop and go into a time of worship. So let's celebrate that we have God as our healer. And let's see what the guys have got for us this week.
Oh, thank you so much for that worship, guys. You're brilliant. But that's not the end of the story, Alice. No? No. Tell us more. He gets out of the river healed. So then he goes to Elisha and he wants to pay him for being healed. Because he's a general and he's mm. used to paying for what he wants. Yeah. But actually, Elisha says to him, no, no, you cannot pay for this. This is God's healing. God has healed you and he has set you free. Wow. And isn't that just an incredible testimony of what God's grace is? And what's really cool about this story is that Nahum wasn't just healed physically from his leprosy. He was also healed spiritually from the sin of pride. Because he had to get in that gross, stinky river Jordan, he then had to overcome his pride and humble himself. And that's exactly what God does with us as well. And the beautiful thing about this story is if you go right back to the beginning with the servant girl, if she hadn't have forgiven Nahum for what he mm. did to her family, to her life, to her home, because he, he took her away from all of that and he bought her and he put her into slavery, if she hadn't have forgiven all of that and forgiven him for that, he would never have known Elisha, he'd never gone no. to Elisha and found out they could be healed. So this story is not just about a healing, it's about forgiveness as well. And that's exactly what it says in John's Gospel. Yeah. That Jesus is here to set us free, not just from our physical ailments, but actually set us free from sin, sin in the world. Which is just really cool! I know! What we've got here is a story of forgiveness, of grace and of healing. And luckily, there's a lot to cover there, and the team have put together another great video for us to watch. So let's QVT. Good morning, Mr. Nehman. How are you feeling today? Oh, I'm not good at all, Nurse, not good at all. My, my arms hurt, my, my legs hurt. In fact, I just don't see any way through this. I think, I think I'm doomed. Oh dear. Uh, I'll call the doctor and see if he can come up with anything. Well, I suppose maybe, maybe modern medicine has, has the answers. Uh, well, yes, um... But sadly, uh, your doctor today is from uh, the Roman times. Wasn't I, I born 700 years before the Romans? Good morning, Dr. Maximus oh. Postulus here. Now then, nurse, what seems to be the problem? Hello, doctor. Hello. Um, this is Mr. Nailman, and he has leprosy. Uh, and today he's feeling a lot of uh, pain. Right, okay, splendid. I have an excellent, excellent cure for leprosy. Oh, Nurse, go fetch me a crocodile immediately. A what? A crocodile, silly. The best cure for leprosy is to slap the patient around the face with crocodile meat. Cures it every time. I'd rather not be slapped by anything. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, well, okay then. So, um, mm, let me think. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, let's try a poultice of camel poo wrapped in a cloth, thrown over your shoulder and dipped in honey. That should do it. Oh, we don't have that. Really? Oh, okay. Um, what kind of hospital is this? Uh, let me think. My final, final thought is, yes, let's, um, we need to wait till day 20, I'm afraid. Lie you down on a pavement, wait for a shooting star, stare at it whilst rubbing your face with a flannel dipped in sea foam. Can we do that, nurse? No. Hello, Maximus. How are we today? Ah, Dr. Elisha, good to see you. Got a tricky one here. Oh, yes. This gentleman's got leprosy, oh. and this hospital doesn't have any crocodiles, camels, and there's no shooting stars apparently till next June. Mm. Not quite sure what we can do for him. Any ideas? He could always go and wash in the river. Um, excuse me, that river stinks. No, go wash in a river and you'll be clean, inside and out. <laughs> Hold on, Elisha. It's a little bit extreme, isn't it? No, no, no. If he goes down to the River Jordan and washes in it, God will heal him inside and out. Now, Elisha, I don't want you coming round here with any of your mumbo-jumbo, newfangled age cures. The river's filthy. No, no, no. I promise. Go down to the River Jordan, wash in it, and God will heal you inside and out. 
I would much rather be slapped by a crocodile. Wow, thank you so much guys for such an incredible video. I swear, they just get better every time. Yeah, they do. So today's been all about looking at forgiveness and grace and healing, some really big topics. So we're gonna go into our breakout rooms now to discuss that a little bit more. But before we do, shall we put our next guy on the mountain? I've got Who a very got? spotty name. A very spotty name. And he's going just there. Is he on? He's on. There awesome. he is. Okay. All right, see you in breakout rooms. And remember, Keep climbing! <laughs>